morning guys and welcome back to another beautiful beautiful day here from Caius Cochinos. We've woken up roughly at around 5.30 in the morning so pretty early in the morning to catch sunrise because the sun basically rises at around 5.45 and you can see it's absolutely stunning. Even when the sun isn't shining, the water is still turquoise blue. It's beautiful. Oh, and just like that, the sun is shining on me now. But it's just beautiful. It is spectacular. I had one of the best sleeps of my life. It's so comfortable. You can hear the waves crashing on. There's no fan. There's no AC. There's just the breeze from the ocean. And it's fantastic. Woke up, came down to the shoreline, saw the beach, saw the beautiful water and it just doesn't get better than that. Obviously, you can smell some breakfast is being cooked up here in the village, but it's just quiet, it's tranquil, it's local. This is what raw travel is all about. Now, obviously, it's currently like 6 a.m. now. The sun is up here in the Garifuna village. What you've got to do at 6 a.m. is obviously go for a morning swim. It's actually quite warm from what I feel for my feet right now but it should be absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and get a morning swim. Glad to see that overnight the coral reef has not disappeared. Still there are tons and tons of fishes. Oh, I love swimming here. It's just you're never going to get bored of swimming in the coral reef here. It expands on forever and I mean literally right here there are tons of fishes just here in the water. It's incredible. Today's plan is um, a little bit in jeopardy. So originally the original plan was to stay overnight at one of the islands because remember Caes Cochinos is a chain of islands. Unfortunately the locals here have told me that it's too dangerous to do that now because there are too many boats passing by here and some of them are gangs, some of them have guns, which means that the only way we're going to be able to do that is to go during the day and visit the islands over there. You can see the little palm trees just like jutted out from the water. The problem now is that none of the boats have gas or diesel. I've asked two different boats. One of them said they don't have gasoline. The other said they don't have diesel. But they said that there should be a shipment coming in later today for gas and for diesel. So hopefully, hopefully that means we'll be able to head over to those islands. But if not, I mean, this is not a bad place to be stuck. All right, so we've got some amazing news. It's about an hour later and one of the boats came in. We asked the driver, um, or the captain rather, if he could take us over to the island over there and like a little sandbar over there. He said, no problem, he's got gas. So we're on our way and we're gonna start the adventure for today. For the first time ever in Cayos Cochinos, we are leaving Cayo Chachahuate. Well, we are on our boat. Julio is our captain today, and he's gonna take us over to see two different islands. One of them with trees, one of them without trees, so I'm pretty excited. Here we are, the water. Oh my God, look at that color. That's amazing. But it's time for us to go ahead and start exploring. <laughs> After about a 20-30 minute boat ride, we've made it to our first stop and oh my god, I cannot believe this place even exists. Like, this is out of a postcard. This is probably out of like a movie or something. This is Cayo Paloma. When you think of pristine, isolated, abandoned Caribbean islands, this is like the postcard, picture, perfect island you think of. We've got the absolute widest sand. Like this sand is way wider than the sand in Chachahuate. We've got some palm trees that are beautiful and it's this perfect shape. It's round on one end and it sort of sticks out on the other. I'm pretty sure Pirates of the Caribbean was filmed here because this sand, it's so perfect. I mean, 
Look at it, it's white. It's completely abandoned. There's no house. There's no electricity. There's no run. There's nothing here. There's nobody here. But look at the color of that water. I've got to get the drone up because this, oh my God, this is paradise. This is literally the definition of paradise right here. My captain was just telling me that this island is one of the islands they use for those survival TV shows, especially in Spain, Mexico, and other Hispanic countries, in Italy as well. So usually when they're filming and they're having one of their TV shows being filmed, they just put a bunch of people on an island and sort of force them to survive. You aren't allowed to visit this island, but luckily right now they're not filming anything. There's no TV show going on. And it's just me, the captain, the boat, and the island. It does not get better than that. And there's so many coconuts. Actually, the captain right now, he's collecting all the coconuts. I think he's gonna take it back to Chachawate and I think they're gonna use it for, you know, the coconut bread, their coconut cream, which they use for basically everything here in the Caribbean, especially in Chachawate. So he's just collecting the coconuts to take it back. But it's interesting that this place is so beautiful. Nobody comes here, but sometimes you're not allowed to visit it because they use it for filming locations because it's so, so, so just out there that they use it for survival shows, which is insane. But, oh, this is literally the definition of paradise. Well, everything was going great until a couple of the Coast Guard cops of, I guess, Caius Cochinos came. Basically what they said is, because currently it's the turtle sort of hatching season, so we're not allowed to come on these islands because a lot of the turtle eggs are here. We don't want to destroy the turtle eggs. So basically we're getting kicked off an abandoned island here in the Caribbean, but it's a beautiful island. It's, it's just stunning. Well, we aren't allowed back onto the island. previous video here from Caios Cochinos during the afternoon the wind and the waves start to really increase because that's how the weather works here in Caios Cochinos it's currently in the afternoon and you can tell the wind is way stronger the chop on the way the other island that we were at is just right there it's not that far away but the chop coming here is just insane the waves are getting stronger but we finally come to our next island this is Cayo Pelor. So this island doesn't have anything on it. There's no palm trees, there's nothing. It's just sand and some rocks, which is why it's called Pelon. Pelon is kind of like no hair, you're bald. Now earlier when we were here, there were a bunch of birds. There were like pelicans and seagulls. But I think once they saw the boat come here, they just flew off and left. But it's a nice island, the sand. Oh, the sand is like powder. The sand is so nice. And I, I just cannot believe how nice the sand is. It's probably better than the ones in the Philippines. This white sand is just incredibly amazing. It's super, super soft, super, super powdery. And it's really, really white. The water, I mean, the color of that water is just incredible. I don't know if you can see, but that blue, blue, blue water is incredible. I don't know if you can tell, the wind is picking up, the chop is coming in. It's gonna be pretty hard to get back to Chachawate, so we're gonna head out. We're gonna get on the boat and head back soon because after like 12, 1 p.m., the wind really picks up and it's not a good idea to travel then. So we're gonna head back before we uh, hopefully don't get capsized.
Well, we've officially successfully made it back to Chachawate. I don't know if you can tell, but my glasses are soaked. That was a choppy ride. There's no doubt about it, which is why I said if you leave Chachawate after 12 p.m. or 1 p.m., good luck not capsizing because the wind gets rough, the chop gets rough. It's just not a good idea to travel after that time, especially with the afternoon breeze. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to leave or even come to Caios Cochinos, do not do it in the afternoon. It's a bad idea, but it was beautiful. It was, the water was just exceptional. And I have to say, after visiting those islands, Chachawate is just, ah, it's average. But we're gonna go ahead, put our stuff down, dry our stuff first, because I am absolutely soaked from that boat ride. And then we'll see what we can do around Chachawate for the rest of the day. Well, the truth is, since we've come back from the island, I actually have not done much. There's nothing really much to do. It's just chilling here on the beach, on a hammock, enjoying the afternoon, seeing the tour groups come and go. That's what life is like on Chachawate. It's chill. It's, it's really, really calm. But I think in a bit, when the sun's about to set, I'll get my drone up and that's gonna be another day here in Chachawate. It's nice, it's calm. It's hot, really, really hot, especially with the sun out. I'm pretty sure I got sunburnt from going to the islands earlier, but we're just gonna chill out a little bit and then wait for the sun to set. Well, it's around like 5, 5.30 p.m. and it's time for the sunset. We've obviously gone in for a swim. I don't know if you can tell from my hair, um, but it's just been chill. I've just been lying here on the hammock, enjoying the nice, amazing views. People just going by, you know, doing their daily things here on Chachawate. It doesn't get more local than that. It doesn't get more chill than that. It does not get more relaxed than that. Honestly, if you're looking for a trip uh, to somewhere just to relax, Guys, Cochinos is probably the best place. But we're gonna go ahead and get ready for the sunset. Well, and just like that, it is very, very dark. I don't even think the camera can focus on me because it's so dark. But the sun has officially set here in Caius Cochinos. Oh God, this camera quality is absolutely terrible. But it's only like 6.30 p.m. and it's already gotten this dark. So just gives you an idea of how dark it is here. It's been an amazing day. That sunset, oh my God. The clouds rolling in, the colors in the sky. That was incredible. I mean, you, you saw from the drone shots how beautiful that sunset was. That might be the best sunset I've ever seen. That was incredible. That is why I travel to places like Caios Cochinos to capture sunsets that are just amazing. That was one of them. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today here from the beautiful islands of Caios Cochinos. It's been an amazing day. You can hear the waves just rolling on the shore and the islands today just absolutely impressive. I'm gonna end the video here. It's a very dark ending and it's very unclear and not focused ending, but the camera can't focus because it's way too dark. So I'll see you guys on the next video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. I don't even know if you can see my thumbs up because it's so dark and everything is just so out of focus, but hopefully you do. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure to stay tuned. We got more videos coming from Honduras and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.